This section deals with golf swing planes, and I will be discussing three, the perfect, the flat, and the upright. Now let's take a look of a side view of the perfect golf swing plane. I'm gonna take the proper grip, perfect stance, set my proper distance between the golf ball and my body, approximately the top end of the stick will be about eight inches or a good hand expand from the base of the abdomen to the ball. I'm bending from the ball and socket joints of my hip. Now I'm ready to describe a circle with this club head around the swing circle center, which is the base of the neck and the top of the rib cage. This is called the swing circle center. Now as I describe a circle with this club head around that point, watch how my left arm will bisect my right ear and my right shoulder as I take this back to the top of the back swing. My left elbow will bisect my right ear and right shoulder. Now we will start the back swing. That's the proper position with this shaft on the line behind that Swing circle center directed at that golf ball. I'm going to shift over the left, start the rotation of the torso, unfold the right elbow, roll the left elbow. My hand's now picking up acceleration, squaring up the club face at the ball at impact. Completing the rotation of the torso, my head is swung up to the front line. I'm going to straighten up my body and finish in this manner. Now, let's take a look at the front view. I'm going to bend from the ball and socket joints of my hips. My club is about a hand expand from the end of the club to the base of my body. I'm going to place my right hand below and take the proper, remote like left hand and take the proper grip. Now we will start the back swing. Another side view. You have seen the perfect golf swing. Now let's take a look at the flat plane. Watch when I make my stance, how I'm bent over more, my arms are more extended. And at this point, it'd be difficult to make a, a plane around my swing circle center because of the position that I'm in. It's not advantageous to be in this position because it restricts most of the joints that you've been using to get the proper power and control. Now I'm gonna make this plane. I'm not going around the swing circle center now. I'm going in between my right shoulder and my right hip. I'm gonna swing around here like this. And it's very hard to stay in balance when you swing on this plane. It doesn't look good and the results are not good. Now we will show you the upright swing. Generally the person that swings upright stands upright. And in standing upright, you're gonna have to pick up the arms because you don't have working room between the golf ball and your swing circle center. The club will be taken outside the line and it would come over, over your head directly up. The face is in bad position, the hands in bad position, and you have to drop your left arm down and pull in with the left arm to make contact with the ball. And your balance is in a very precarious way. You can't finish the swing with good balance, nor can you have the control with an upright swing. you the difference between an upright. This is the perfect swing. This is the upright. This is the flat. Did you see that, Chris? I saw that. 
like you're trying to get it from out underneath the tree. I think. I'm now going to show you one of the most famous swings. That's the inside out swing and how inefficient it will be. If I took this club and moved this club inward, my arms are coming in close to my body, the club is coming in low. Now, if I took it in here, I'm gonna have a packed right arm and I never complete the backswing from this position. You can't get in here without taking it up and doing that. So we're gonna take this thing in that inside out pattern. Now to hit this ball from this position, that's about as far as you can go with an inside out swing. If you try to approach this thing from the inside, you're not gonna drive this ball down this flight line from that position. That would go out the right field out of bounds. Take a look at it, inside out. You lose the distance between that ball and the heels by bringing it in. If I describe the circle now, from that position, I'm about eight inches off of the plane. Anytime you drop your arms from your address position in, into a more vertical position, you're taking the club off the plane. It becomes flat and compact. Cause your head to move off the, the central line of your golf plane. Cause the right shoulder to drop, the left shoulder to raise. Now to hit that ball in this position, if you should come inside out, you'll never be able to drive it toward the flight line, which is almost at right angles the way you're swinging at it. I'm going to now show you the outside in swing. If I stood here like, like this and did an outside end swing, I'm going to move my arms without shifting on my weight or turning my torso, taking the club outside the, the flight line, trying to get it back. My arms are too upright. To hit from this position, the only way you can hit is down to the ball and in towards left pulling the club inward across the ball, imparting a slice. Take a look at this again. Flexion, extension. Slight tilt of the bottom of the spine to the right, establish a balance on that head of this femur bone. Turn the torso, raise the arms and cut.